Dow's now down 10, Nasdaq's down a fraction, S&P holding on to a fractional gain. David Barnson is with us right now. You're the dividend guy. Uh, that's, what, that's what we like about you. you. You come to us and you tell us the stocks where the, the dividend is strong and likely to grow. So let's start with two of your picks from today. First of all, Gilead Sciences. What's so great about them? What do they pay? Uh, well, they pay a close to 4.5% dividend, but they've been growing it every year since they started paying. But what's so great about them is that they invested billions of dollars of cash. They didn't lever up their balance sheet. They paid for it last year for a big transaction in oncology. They're creating a lot of drugs for cancer treatment. We all know they have remdesivir, which is the biggest viral therapeutic for COVID. But Gilead has a very diversified suite of products, and they're willing to return profits to shareholders. They do what we want them to do as a mature biotech company paying us with dividends. UMI, Midstream Energy, is an ETF, I believe. That's about pipelines. You've recommended it before. Still going strong? Yeah, very much. And I'm going to continue recommending it. The full year dividend yield is over 6%. People don't necessarily see that when they look on their screen because this is a newer product. And so you, you get a full year over 6%. And yet, I believe that this, com this whole sector has bottomed out. And people say, how could that be? The Biden administration is so anti this industry. That's what's helping this. If they're not going to build more pipelines, the pipelines we already have become more and more valuable, more and more oil and gas goes through, and people keep talking about crude oil and missing that natural gas is a huge part of the revenues in this sector. I believe ultimately, even a lot of the greenies are going to be converted to the belief that natural gas is necessary to ultimately lower carbon emissions. It's the cleaner fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. Mm. So, Stuart, I am the dividend guy for you, but I'm also a Reagan revolution guy yeah. because it's not over. Those ideas will last forever. We may go through ups and downs with the political cycle. The ideas of the Reagan revolution lead to the yes. dividends that pay for our companies. How did I do mixing those two things together? Oh, it was brilliant, David. Absolutely brilliant. I don't know how you do it, but you do it every week. David, thank you so much, sir. Always appreciate it. See you soon. Thanks,